That magnetic creature's power is incredible. surrounded. She sure played havoc with this drilling rig. He's gone now. Yes, he must have escaped during the fire. <laughs> that creature's underwater, heading for the South Pole. With the power he has, he could blow the ice cap completely off the Earth. You mean like two giant magnets repelling each other? Right, with incredible force, Brock. And we've got to stop him. You and I can follow him in the mini-sub and... Hold on, Quinn. Now, that's way too dangerous. I'll go with Brock. You're more valuable here where you can find some way to neutralize the creature. Wait a minute. You've got to be kidding. You're actually going to chase that thing? Someone has to. OK, Quinn. We're locked on the course you've charted. Open the airlock. Here it comes, Captain Majors. Opening airlock. Stay in radio contact and good luck. I got him on the scope, 10 degrees off the port. Good. Keep a fix on it. We've got to get to it before it gets to that polar cap. <laughs> are going to track that monster's path from the surface. Help me get the hovercraft ready. But the radio! I think Eddie can handle that. I'll do my best. Hang on, Pete. Here we go. Come on, Godzuki! <laughs> Looks like Quinn was right about the creature's effect on the South Pole's magnetic center, Brock. She sure was, Captain Majors. These readings show a strong disturbance of the polar ice cap up ahead. Too strong, as far as I'm concerned. Power 
is gone. We're out of control! We, we must have hit bottom. Not quite, Brock. We've landed on an ice formation. And we're stuck in a crevice. No power and stuck in a crevice? What else can go wrong? This. We're losing oxygen. We've only got enough to last about 30 minutes. What was that? There's no way we're going to get these engines going again in 30 minutes. The escape hatch must be wedged against the wall of the crevice. Calico, do you read me? Come in, Calico. Dr. Darien, Pete, come in. Come in. You can bet Dr. Darien's scientific curiosity got the best of her. She and Pete must have left the ship. Looks like we need Godzilla. Right. It's not getting through. Monster! His magnetic field's blocking the Godzilla signal. He's coming right for us, at top speed. You mean we're actually over the South Pole? Yeah. And we're not the only ones. That magnetic monster is approaching fast. And the closer it gets, the more it's disturbing the pole's own magnetic force. That was close. Thanks, Godzuki. You're not out of trouble yet. Quick, run for the hovercraft. Three 